Now, you might be thinking, it's kind of cheap that I'm just using my crazy items to, to kill this guy. But, remember, this is a test of endurance as well as skill. The more I use, the less I have by the end. Leave me alone. Yeah. Can't do that, buddy. How long is he going to draw this out? It doesn't matter. The resource core never gives up. We'll cure Ochi if it's the last thing we do. Uh-oh. There are two... There are three? There are three raging blisters? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why, why, why would I need blues? I'm not doing that. Um, hmm. I feel like I'm fast enough. That I can just kill it outright. There we go. That's one. Just need to be stealthy. Go. That's another one. Gotta be stealthy. Got them all. Got them all. You didn't think Pikmin was a stealth game, now did ya? It is. I didn't lose any Pikmin from that. I should probably actually flower them. Alright. Get all the spoils. Interesting that they gave us blue Pikmin there. But again, they know. Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. What's that? Is it another one? No. Ah, it's the, the one ball. Sweet. We need blue Pikmin? I don't think we do. Cool. But they, they know that we are going to have Gloman seeds. They know. That's why they give us all these candy pop buds. It's an artificial way to actually boost our numbers with real Pikmin. Which I guess doesn't don't matter too much, because Gloman are every kind of Pikmin essentially, but for some of them, like ice, we they're definitely needed. Okay, is that the last of it? Let's take some stock of our, our crew real quick. Yeah, we don't need more blues. We actually still have a pretty even distribution, all things considered. We've lost a couple purples, but we're still at 100. Cavern for a king. Sub-level 12. 55% complete, by the way. So this is like a 20-floor dungeon. Is this a rest floor? This is a rest floor. It is very rare that they introduce an enemy that will kill us on a rest floor. It has happened, doodle bugs mainly, but it's still rare. Okay, they're offering us purples in droves. Um, they're also offering some nectar. Some unmarked spectralids. Uh, in one of my D&D campaigns, um, I have been introducing this concept that um, <clears throat> it's it's basically reverse monodology, where over time, um, opposites attract and will become one. And the idea being. That if you're fixated on something enough, basically the the goddess of magic. Um, trust me, I'm going somewhere with this. The goddess of magic in my D and D world is de is dead, or sorry, the god of magic who killed the goddess of magic and then was killed is dead, and actually killed by one of our former parties. And the person who to, who inherited the uh, portfolio or the domain of the god of magic decided to destroy it, and um. 
distributed among all living creatures. And so everything inherently has a bit of the portfolio of the God of Magic. And because of that, creatures' intent, where enough of them are gathered, can manifest reality. And one of the ways I kind of conveyed that is by creatures slowly mixing. Not necessarily like crossbreeding, because that has some weird and creepy connotations. Um, but when, for example, predator and prey, when their, their relationship is so dependent on another, eventually they might become one creature. And I conveyed that. Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing a treasure. No, okay. And I conveyed that by introducing a creature that was the cross between a Skulltola, because there's some Zelda themes in my campaign, and a butterfly. And I called it the Spectrula. As a fun little nod to this game that only I would get. Let's go. Still at 100 Pikmin. Cavern for a King. Sub-level 13, 60% completion. Only 22 of 48 treasures, though. Alright. We fought one of these before. Not the end of the world. Although there's some poison, which definitely throws a little bit of a, a red flag. Ochi, as always, you deal with the mushrooms, because you can chop them in one go. And you're probably just going to avoid all... Yeah, you're going to avoid all danger here. Yeah, and he keeps going? Wait, wait where is he going? <laughs> okay, okay. Ochi doesn't always do what I want, but I love that. <laughs> that was so funny. He ran a circle around him and then went right up to his face and then barked and then left. <laughs> I don't know what he was trying to do, but I like to imagine that he was just taunting him. Yeah, he's super slow. Ochi, I'm depending on you. The last puzzle piece! Move, 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 move. Go. Ochi, you take care of that one. You need to get the poison off the table. Look at him. He's doing it again. That's so funny. All right, we've done this song and dance before. Purple's first. Wait for the tongue to come out. This guy has more gold on him than before, I think. It's just like the Plasm Wraith fight, which canonically I have never done, at least on the channel. Go towards the one he's not going towards. Uh, get off, get off, destroy it. Go! Oh, come on, come on, come on! Get out of the way! Good job. Good job, Pikmin. Jump on Ochi. He's super slow. Use that. Super slow. And he's backed up against the wall. That helps a lot. This is so good. He missed. He's going towards that one. What are they doing? Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, my word. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. They got... St oh, that's 15. They got stuck and then decided to keep running forward forever. Good job, Pikmin. That's fine, we can get him back. Not the end of the world. Pikmin's gonna Pikmin. Don't let the first mistake dictate the second. Deal with that. Lock on feature. Get out of here. Okay, these are done. Lost quite a few Pikmin there. Please carry that back. Just get it out of the way. Get to a good spot where I can get the gold. Destroy the gold. Good job. Jump on. I should have jumped on Ochi earlier. That was how I could have compensated for the mistake. Nice, they got on the gold. I can kill him from here. 
Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Jump on. He's gonna go after it. He can't help it. He's a slave to it. And he's dead. All right, that, uh, that happened. That happened. And they can't figure out how to carry that. Day in the life. Yeah, fine. While you do that, we're going to get our glow seeds. One, two, three, four, five. Again, I'm only working within my means because I might find stray Pikmin. Or wild Pikmin, rather. Uh, let's see. Ochi, you... Get that. Just some nectar. Yeah, that was, that was a little bit tragic. That was the first big error that was made. The first chink in my armor, per se. Uh, per se. But, um... We're fine. We're okay. We can we can manage. It was really really stupid. Not gonna lie. Um, if I had a C stick, I probably could have maneuvered out of that situation, but I didn't. I could have jumped on Ochi at the last second earlier. I guess not the last second, but earlier, and they would have jumped on. Um, but oh well. Play it where it lies. Cavern for a king, sub level fourteen. Four. Why are there four? What? What's the four here? Ah, okay. I can deal with that. Can't turn. He can die. Jump on. Jump on. Ah, I lost him. Come on, jump on! Quick! I didn't wait till he was locked in his movement. Go! Jump on! Oh, I probably should have thrown a Pikmin in the hole. Yeah. Go, go, go! I didn't one cycle him because I, I forgot to dash with Ochi, but that's fine. Go. He's dead. Okay. We lost a couple of Pikmin there. Down to 90. I might end up using my Gloman early just, just in case. Um, yeah, I think I will. Because there's a concern that I... In not doing enough damage... That... I end up losing more Pikmin than I am ought to. So, I am going to use my Gloman here. Not all, all of them. I only have 16 left. But I think... Yeah, we're going to go up to 95. Plus, that actually gives us access to this. Yeah. I, I guess I went up to 96. Ah, eh, whatever. It's fine. Alright. Plus, we have a teleporting Pikmin. That's, that could be helpful in a, some sort of, like, Dandori-esque challenge. I mean, there is a dog, right? So what if he's? What if there's a level with a bunch of treasure in it, uh, and it's wandering around like Moss did, bugging us? That could happen. In which case, Gloman would be very useful because they could carry stuff back and then teleport back. 